Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Through Black and White Eyes channel. Uh, it's been a little while, but I've been given an update, so I thought, why not? Let's smash it out after four hours sleep, after six, 12 hour shifts in a row. That's right, 72 hours, guys. Suck it up, Barry. Get on with it. A uh, cup of coffee to help me through it. Really looking forward to doing this uh, update. It's jam packed with uh, information about players leaving, a little bit of info coming in. Uh, but not a lot, but it's all interesting stuff. And like I say, it's all about what we get told. We like to discuss it with you guys. We want all your comments below. We want us to tell you what you think is best for our football club as well, because all opinions matter as long as they're sensible uh, and respectful, of course. Uh, so before we get into it, the usual stuff, please hit the thumbs up button, guys, if you enjoy the video. Just to hit it anyway. It's free. It really does help us to keep going. Uh, you know, it, it. We need your support as much as we can possibly get. You know, and and this is why we do it so we can, you know, enjoy talking to each other and, and enjoy doing great videos. Well, I hope you think they're great videos. So hit that thumbs up. Please also consider hitting the subscribe button if it's the first time watching. Help this channel grow as quickly as we can get it to ten thousand. Would be absolutely amazing. Be an amazing Christmas present if that happened. But there you go. Uh, False nine, mine and Liam's company. Uh, it's the official non-paying sponsor of the channel we're releasing hoodies we're going to be releasing channel stuff soon as well so please keep an eye out for them the website will be live soon uh, we also have this amazing raffle uh it's very rarely you'll ever see an alan shearer testimonial shirt being raffled two kevin keegan shirts five powder coated badges three prints of kevin keegan one of them signed as well amazing prizes and if you would like a badge uh, royal mail have been a right I can't swear, uh, and I know I can, but I'm not going to. But Royal Mail, I understand why they're striking, but that's really held up a lot of badges. We're having a lot, of, a few problems with a couple of deliveries that we're trying to sort out. We apologise that some of them haven't been delivered yet. But the good news is, because we know Royal Mail is so poor, we're going to be using a different courier service going forward to guarantee you a delivery before Christmas if you order ASAP. So £40 in the UK, that's including delivery. Contact myself and then I will put you in touch with the person who sells them. I make absolutely no money from these badges. I need to put that out there. It has nothing to do with me. I'm just a nice guy who's advertising them for a friend who's selling them. Uh, it's all his stuff, not mine. Nothing to do with me. Uh, but I have actually got a few of them, and I love them. And they're an absolute amazing quality. So please contact me via Twitter or via email address, and I'll put you in the right direction so you can get one. Now that all that's out the way with, let's get to the good stuff. So what do we know about deals? So sponsorship deals flying in at the moment. So we've got Monster Energy Drink. We've got the official tour digital partner of Newcastle United, STC. They're a tem telecommunications provider. Uh, they're the latest new sponsor at NUSC. They've become the tour digital partner and we'll have a digital presence on at our friendly this week and at St. James's Park for the remainder of the campaign. So more great news about money coming in. Uh, and what I've been told is there will be a few more of these sponsors coming in. They're all worth five to ten million pound each. Add into revenue before we get to the two big bumper ones. Uh, new shirt sponsor, uh, hopefully going to be Nike or Adidas, uh, the main sponsor. And then they could even do St. James's Park naming rights. So there's potentially three big sponsorship deals still to come in with all these little ones going around the ground. And how refreshing is it to hear about this? This is us running as an actual football club. Not a Mike Ashley billboard anymore. This is how a football club is done. And they have various sponsors all around the place for different things. And it, it really is going to help with FFP going forward. Uh, yes, we've got restraints at the moment. But can you imagine what it's going to be like in a few years' time? You know, we're going to be like a Man City and a Chelsea. We can just go out and buy who we want. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, just so you know, I have actually got a top on underneath. I've got the Newcastle Away one on. It's freezing in my house, even though the heating's on. Uh, but it's green, so it's see-through. So it makes it look quite cool. Uh, right, where are we going to go to next then? So that's all about sponsorships. Really happy about that. Nike, Adidas, hopefully one of them will be the kit sponsors. I want Adidas back. Uh, just for sentimental value and also they, they give us a shitload of money. Uh, but Nike are also fantastic as well. So let's see what happens. 
Uh, right now, let's go to players out because that's what most of this show is about today is about players potentially leaving the club. Uh, the first one is Matt Ritchie. Uh, he's in talks with Bournemouth. Doesn't surprise me. Now, Matt Ritchie has been a great servant to our football club. He's coming to the end of his career. He's, he's sitting on the bench and he's not getting a game. So why not? Let him go back to his home where he was. He's got a great home down there, family life down there. And he's been a great servant to our club. He got us out with the championship. He was the first magic hat before Bruno. Uh, and I I can't thank him enough. Uh, you know, And I know he didn't do great near the end of his career with Newcastle, but that's not down to him. It's down to Steve Bruce and the tactics and where they played him. And it just didn't suit his, his playing. He has got a bit older, but he's a great person around the group. And I fancy him to maybe come back under Eddie Howe as someone in our coaching staff in the future. So we wish him all the best and we hope the move pulls off. Because that's another free space in the squad and wages off the bill. So that's not too bad, is it? So Matt Ritchie to Bournemouth is getting stronger before the January window opens. So let's hope that goes through. Uh, again, it's not 100% done. We've, this is just what we've been told. that It's on the cards. Uh, another one on the cards is Rich uh, Fraser, Fraser to Southampton. Now, we did mention this a few weeks ago in one of our... If you watch all our podcasts and, and all our Inside and Scoop updates, you'll know that we talked about Richie leaving. We've talked about Fraser leaving. We didn't know who to. We've also talked about Bruno's new contract, which is now breaking. Uh, so a lot of stuff's coming out that we've been saying, which is great. And this is, this is another one that's now gathering more speed. Uh, so Hampton, probably a good club for him to go to. I mean, still in the Premier League, they are fighting. Uh, he'll get game time, which he's not getting at Newcastle, and he's not really progressing under Eddie Howe. And he's not a top four player, and we've always said this. You know, it, it's all about strengthening the squad uh, as well as getting players off the book. So if Fraser's leaving, you know, there's a good chance there's a winger coming in. So we don't know who that is yet, but we, we've got our ideas. Uh, but Fraser to Southampton is gathering pace uh, and that could be something that will happen quite early in the January window. And again, wish him all the best. You know, he scored a few important goals during COVID, uh, especially one against Brighton, if you remember that one at home and we beat them 2-1. Uh, so, yeah, so another player I wish all the best to. Uh, but again, it's good that we're potentially getting these players off the books, money coming in, wages off the books. It just helps with FFP. It really does. Uh, next player on the list. Uh, again, we spoke about this this player a few times about leaving and it looks like it's <clears throat> gathering pace again. Uh, it's Lewis is in talks with Norwich. So back to his, his club that he came from. He hasn't uh, impressed Eddie Howe. Uh, can't hold down a place. He's got a lot of competition in that area. Uh, so for me, Lewis to Norwich again, wages off the books, another fee back into the club, all helps towards FFP. And he's not, he's unfortunately, he hasn't worked out as a, as a top four player, as he, or even a top seven player. So again, good bit of business if we can get this done. So fingers crossed. They're the three main ones that look close, uh, but there's more to leave that aren't close, but we're, we're working on it. So, one of there, Matty Longstaff, he has a hamstring injury. Uh, he'll return to Newcastle in January. He's not getting a new contract. So the next loan needs to be a club which will want to sign him permanently. Or he might actually stay at NUFC until May and then his contract runs out and he can go wherever he wants. Uh, it's very sad for Matty. He burst onto the scenes under Steve Bruce. He got thrown into the firing line against Man United, didn't he? And he scored the winner. He got thrown into the Lions cage at Old Trafford and he scored there as well. Uh, but never then given any chances and not given a chance to flourish or coached. So I do feel a bit sorry for him. Uh, but again, is he a top four player? This is what we've got to think about. This is what we're aiming for. So probably a good good thing that he's, he's going to find his career again somewhere else. So we wish him all the best again. Hopefully in January we can get a little bit of money if he goes out on loan. Uh, if not, he'll leave on a free and then that frees up another space in the squad and it also frees up wages again, doesn't it? So really good. Uh, Gillespie's in talks with free League One clubs. Uh, we always knew Gillespie wasn't good enough, but we've had to keep him on the books until everything's sorted out. 
we've got four keepers on the books at the moment. Carrius, I'm not too sure what's happening with him yet. Hopefully I'll get some information of whether his contract's just going to run out and then he'll leave or whether he stays on till the end of the season. We'll try and get some information. But if Gillespie goes, that might actually happen. Uh, so let's just see what happens there. But Gillespie in talks with three League One clubs. Uh, Dummett's contract will run out. Uh, so basically, the, there is an option for another year on it in the summer. We're not going to activate that. So Paul Dummett will become a free agent in the summer uh, or, or January. It could be sooner. I'm not too sure on his contract, but his, his contract's going to run out. So Dummett will be leaving Newcastle. And I have heard Leeds have been sniffing around him. So very interesting stuff to keep an eye on. So, yeah, so please drop a comment what you think about those ones so far that we've talked about. We want to hear your ideas and what you think is good or bad. Uh, so, yeah, uh, a few more. This won't happen until potentially after the World Cup or in the summer. So I think this is more likely in the summer. The cells and Chris Wood will be put up for sale in the summer to make space in the squad uh, and Dummett will be moved on too. So Dummett must have an till the summer to his contract to run out <clears throat> but the cells he's not featuring uh chris wood he's doing his bit when he's needed but again he's not a top four player we know this uh again great serving for what he did when he came in and i think he knows his time's up and i think the cells knows as well uh even though he gets the respect of all the players as a captain and club captain uh he's not a top four player and we're on to bigger and better things, aren't we? So it's very exciting. But again, freeing up space, freeing up wages. You know, if we can get any fees for them, brilliant. I'm sure we will. The sales is a decent centre back. I'm sure there's a bottom half of the Premier League club will be interested in taking them on, like Forrest, maybe, or someone like that. Chris Wood, like I say again, if you play him for 35 games of a season, he'll score 10 goals, 10 to 15. He's, he's done it. You know, all the time, especially at Burnley, play to his strengths and he will score some goals. Uh, but again, he's not a top four striker. We've got Isaac, we've got Wilson. I reckon there'll be another big summer signing in that area and the attacking area. So, very interesting. But that won't happen until the summer. But it's just nice to know where the club's direction is and what they're going to be doing with these players. I know a lot of people want these two players out of the club uh, and it's going to happen in the summer by the sounds of it. But again, wish them all the best. Lascelles was fantastic when he came in. Uh, he was a young man, became the captain of the club. He excelled under Rafa. So yeah, and Chris Wood came in in January, went on a 10-game unbeaten run when he was in the team and it helped us to survive in that league. Uh, and we have a lot to thank for him in my eyes. So there you go. Uh, the next one is Dubravka for sale, uh, four million on the market now. So he is up for sale. So he's going to come back to Newcastle from Man United in January, and he'll be he's been put up for sale straight away. So again, an amazing signing by Rafa. That debut against Man United when we beat them one nil was absolutely tremendous. But it's it's time for Dubravka to go now. He shouldn't have done what he did. Said what he said. Uh, I can't thank him enough for what he's done, though, as, as a goalkeeper over the years. He's been absolutely fantastic, but he's tarnished what he's done a little bit by the way that he acted and tried to force a move to my, well, did force a move to my United on loan. And, and he's just sat on the bench and he could have done that here and pushed Popey and maybe got a cup games or something like that. So very disappointing end to his career at Newcastle, but we thank him for what he did. He did keep us up that year with Rafa. He really did help. Uh, and he's been a great goalkeeper, so fair play to him. Uh, we wish him all the best. Uh, now, the two incomings, again, it's the same names, so it's just an update. Uh, Trossard, uh, Ashworth working hard behind the scenes to get it tied up. So this was, we broke this on our last uh, Inside Scoop update, that this was closer than everyone thought. Uh, everyone thought Chelsea bound, uh, you know, no chance Newcastle were getting them, but it's actually looking like a very, very good, strong links now and it's it's starting to heat up a little bit so they're trying the best obviously we've got Ashworth on our side we've got a club potentially going to be top four next you know at the, by the end of the season if we carry on our form and this man can help us push that uh, and push ASM and also push Miggy because he can play on either side uh, so very very interesting I would love to see him at the club it is a short term signing for me because he is 27 going into 28 obviously Uh to Michael Owen saying that. Uh, 
but yeah, I, I'll, well, I definitely welcome this. This move, he's in fine form, and why not buy a player while he's in form and, and hope he carries on and, and scores enough goals to keep us in the top four and provide goals from that left hand side or right hand side. So yeah. Now Madison is obviously there's been a lot of talk around Madison, hasn't there? Uh, that it's not going to happen. Leicester aren't going to sell. He's going to wait till the summer, maybe run his contract out, and and leave on a free next summer so in a, in a year and a half's time but again i've been told differently so again all, all i can do is tell you what i've been told we're not saying he's signing we're not saying it's done but this is what i've been told so madison talks will happen with leicester soon leicester open to talks as they now know the player will not sign a long-term contract with them so they want to cash in so that's the interesting side of things now the problem with that is that madison can say he doesn't want to leave because he is under contract but in Leicester will want to get as much money as they can out of it. So this puts us in a very strong position to bargain in, into a decent deal because we know we like a deal. Uh, we offered them 50 million, all of it up front uh, in the summer. Leicester refused it, but now they're in a position where they're kind of a little bit desperate really to, to get them off the books. Now we have the money. Will another club like Arsenal or Spurs uh, come in for them? It's, well, we'll see. I mean, he's he's an absolute fine form for Leicester, isn't he? And he's he's got them out of that bottom three and, and playing some decent football, scored some important goals, got assists, and that's why we want him. So fingers crossed, you know. Hopefully, the well, my guy's right, and hopefully, all the other reports are wrong, and that we are actually going to push for Madison in January, push Leicester for a sale, and then give Madison a headache. Does he come to Newcastle and take the risk? I, mean, I don't see it as a risk, but he might, he obviously does as a player. You know, there's no European football yet, but we're in the position to to upset the top four. So does he want to take the risk and come to us? Which I really do hope he does, because he's a quality player and he'll push us into that new bracket. Uh, so that's it. So just to sum it up again, very quickly, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, false nine. Email address below if you're interested in a hoodie. They're unbelievable. They're priced at £35. They will go up in the future because the quality. Uh, don't forget the raffle. If you want to buy tickets, contact me on Twitter. Two for a fiver, five for a tenner. We're trying to reach £5,000. And when we do, 50% of it will go to the Alan Shearer Foundation, Rob Burroughs, m and Charity, and also the NUFC Food Bank. Uh, really want to give them £2,500 between them. And then the other two and a half thousand goes to the company and we get that podcast shed at the bottom of the garden, which is what we really want. And please, these are definitely still for sale. Uh, we've had some issue with deliveries due to Royal Mail, but we're now going to use a different courier. So if you are interested in a Newcastle Crest, please contact me via Twitter or email address. And I'll put you in touch with a person who sells them. I get absolutely nothing for any of this. Uh, so, you know, please don't complain to me because I can't do anything about it. I'm just the salesman, just the person who's advertising them for a friend. Uh, so let's just recap very quickly. New sponsorships coming in, all worth between 5, 10 million. There's more of these to be done. We've got Matt Ritchie on the way out, Fraser on the way out as well, Lewis on the way out, other potential ones, uh, Matty, Dummett and Gillespie. Uh, we've got in the summer, Wood and the cells potentially leaving. Uh, due to not being good enough and where we're going. The Brafka is up for sale as it is for 4 million. We're really pushing for Trossard uh, and it's closer than what some people think. And Leicester are potentially looking to do a deal for, for Madison in the January window. So fingers crossed we can nail all these signings. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please hit a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you've enjoyed the uh, the, the video. You know, The sooner we get 10,000, the better. You know, the more things we can do with the channel, it unlocks different things and it means the content will be better for you guys. And we hope to bring you more consistent content. And we will do the sooner we get close to the January window. There'll be more of these videos. I can promise you that. And please drop a comment. And my door is always open. So if you want to come and say something to me on Twitter, by all means, but please be respectful. It's all I ask. If not, you get blocked. It's as simple as that. Uh, we will be live on Friday night, hopefully. So that's tomorrow night. No, two days time, Friday night. Uh, Liam's got something lined up, hopefully, on Saturday afternoon. Uh, keep an eye out because we want to try and get some more content bashed out for you. So I really appreciate his watching. Hit the thumbs up and have a great day, guys. See you later.